So today we're going to do an unboxing of this Motorola Surfboard Extreme cable modem. It's their SB6121 model. And right now this is going to go into a, upgrading a older RCA cable motor that we have. And many of you might be familiar with the model. It's a gray little box with four flashing lights. Very popular kind of older generation cable motor. But anyway, looking at this cable modem, this supports the DOCSIS 3.0 standard. And we get 160 megabits per second downlink speed on it. So it's a very fast, capable cable modem so it'll handle things like audio and video streaming and certainly online gaming and plus a few other things but that's basically about it it does have a 10 100 1000 gigabit ethernet port on the back so if you've got a gigabit enabled wireless router you can take advantage of that full gigabit ethernet capacity there so let's go ahead and open this up and look at what's inside so now that we got the box open, here's what it looks like inside. We have our AC power adapter to power the cable modem. And then here's our gigabit capable cable Ethernet that it provides for us. And then here, under the modem, of course, is our little pamphlet guide. We won't bother pulling that out right now. But here is the cable modem wrapped up there. And on the front here, they're, it's hard to see since they're not illuminated. you got a couple of status indicators on here. One one's for power, then you got for transmission link, and a couple of other things. And you'll see all those indicators on the front of the cable modem here. Then going on the back, this is where our 10 100 1000 gigabit ethernet port is to hook it up to your router. And then here's your cable connection to go to your cable that provides the internet into your household and then here is your plug for the AC power jack. So that is basically it for the contents in the box here at this SB6121 cable modem. So let's go ahead and see about setting it up and testing out the speeds. So here is the new Motorola modem hooked up. And as you can see we now have our LED indicators on the front all lit up. So again our top is power there's our downstream and our uplink indicators. Now when they're blue like this, that means they're bonded. If they're amber like the power light, it means it's not properly connected up yet to your internet service provider. And usually that requires activation. You will have to activate the modem. And below that is our internet indicator. So I'll let you know there's got an internet connection. And then this flashing icon is for our router. And if it's amber, it'll be 10100. If it's blue like this, it's 10100 So it's a gigabit connection. So anyway, let's look at the speed test now and compare it to the original. So here we are about to begin the speed test on the new Motorola SB6121 cable modem. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now I've already done this test and it did show an improvement from the old one, but I'm just going to do the test again here just for reference to the old one. So you can see here we're getting about 3600 kilobytes per second. Now if you remember from the test that I did with the RCA cable modem, it's like 2900 kilobytes per second. So it's already got an improvement in the download speed. Now when I did the upload comparison, there's about 100 kilobytes per second increase in the upload speed. So it is faster. Again, there's still kind of a limit of our cable service here. But that's what it is. 3622 kilobytes per second download. 866 for the upload. And if we go to results with the most recent, you can see that this one here is the one that was on the RCA modem. And these were the two done with the Motorola modem. So, that is the speeds there.